The Cascadia margin, this is a active continental margin. With that, I mean the one the Fuca plate is subducting beneath the North America plate. Let's imagine an earthquake is probably triggering a landslide, so it can be that some of this hydrate changes into gas form and then moves up as a bubble stream. Hello, I'm Tamara Baumberger. I'm affiliated with NOAA PML and the Oregon State University in Newport, Oregon, and I'm going to be the lead scientist of the Cascadia Marching Cruise. So there's methane coming out of the seafloor. Some of it is in a bubble form, some more is as a gas hydrate. That means kind of methane frozen into lattice of ice. And this methane is actually fueling a whole ecosystem. It's a very interesting area because it's connected to this active continental margin. And right now we kind of want to do a baseline of this whole system to know how it is looking like right now so that there's a chance for comparison if there are some changes or how, how fast it can change over the years. We have been out there in 2016 already and had the chance to map some areas of the Cascadia margin. And there were data from fishermen, so they usually use sonar systems to look at the fish. And some of them, they observed bubble streams. So we did know there are some. But I think the number before we were heading out there was a little less than 200 known bubble streams. And after our work, it was up to 3,000. So this was a surprise. Part of it, why I'm so interested to work in this area is because it's so active. There are so many questions to still be answered and there's still so much we don't know about it. So we don't even have a baseline that we have like established of like where all the seeps are and how the ecosystems are looking like. So there's certainly a lot to answer.